Welcome to our Fruiting Mixobacteria website. Introduction. All fruiting bacteria are aerobic, gram-negative and motile, meaning they glide. The majority of species predate on a variety of microorganisms and insoluble nutrients found in decomposing soils. Mixobacteria are able to form fruiting bodies in times of environmental stress, which is where they get their name from. Fruiting bodies are multicellular structures controlled by intracellular communication. They come in a variety of colours, such as orange, yellow and brown, due to carotenoid and melanoid pigments. Interesting fact. Mixobacteria have relatively large genomes compared to other bacteria. Serangulum cellulosum, which is a fruiting bacteria, has the largest known bacterial genome, with over 1.3 times 10 to the 7 base pairs. Habitat, temperature and pH. They can be found worldwide, however especially thrive in warm, dry regions at temperatures of 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. There are certain species that can survive lower temperatures, such as the genus Stigmatella, which can withstand temperatures between 18 to 37 degrees Celsius. Mixobacteria grow in soils with a pH range of 5 to 8, with decaying organic substances, for example, the dung of herbivores. Taxonomy. Taxonomy is the process of classifying organisms into groups according to similarities and differences. From the diagram, you can see that all mixobacteria belong to the kingdom bacteria, phylum proteobacteria, and class delta proteobacteria. Some key characteristics to categorise mixobacteria include being rod shaped, gram negative, forming globular fruiting bodies in different colours, gliding, and a size range of 10 to 100 micrometers. Some key bacteria include Stigmatella aurantiaca, Myxococcus xanthus, and Myxococcus ruba. Fruiting bodies. When nutrients are in low supply, mixobacteria form fruiting bodies. This process is controlled by intracellular communication. The fruiting body is formed by the transformation of vegetative cells to form the stalk and head of the body. Chemotactic sensing often triggers the formation of swarms in bodies. Mixobacteria are often seen as a model for fruiting bodies as they are standard soil-dwelling bacteria. Furthermore, they are used as a model to study prokaryotic development. The aggregation process when forming the fruiting body allows all cells to survive. Lone cells would die from starvation on their own. Some cells in the body convert to mixospores, which can withstand much harsher conditions, including drying, UV and high heat. When favourable conditions arrive, the spores revert back into normal cells and continue germination. The colour pigments are also important for the survival of bacteria as they provide photoprotection. Mixospores. Within the fruiting body, some vegetative cells convert to dormant spores called mixospores. This occurs when resources are scarce, but can be reversed when more nutrients become available. Each mixospore forms from the differentiation of an individual vegetative cell. These cells in turn entirely convert to the final spore product. This is one of the main differences between other spore forming bacteria and mixobacteria. Mixospores have been claimed to survive temperatures of up to 100 degrees Celsius for up to one minute and 70 degrees Celsius for up to 30 minutes. However, the regular fruiting cells died at 50 degrees Celsius. The spores can also survive desiccation for four weeks and some could even germinate into normal cells again. These cells are also five times more resistant to UV light and 20 times more resistant to sonic vibration. Swarm feeding. Mixobacteria are predators, travelling in swarms towards their prey. A swarm is where thousands of cells come together in a collective motion, producing colonies which can spread over a surface. As mixobacteria do not have flagella, they have to glide using fibrils or pili through a process of social motility. 
This swarming is triggered by the absence of nutrients as forming a multicellular structure benefits individual cells as the increased surface area allows more access to nutrients. For predation to occur, the cells must be in close range to the prey cells. The swarm releases hydrolytic enzymes and secretes secondary metabolites that allows the process of prey cell lysis to occur. After this process, myxobacteria digest the hydrolyzed cells when the food supply is depleted, the swarm stops expanding and starts to retreat. Light reactions. One form of myxobacteria that has shown to react to light is stigmatella or antiaca. It shows that the ability to form stalks may be linked to light availability. The formation of a fruiting stalk is simulated by light of around 450 nanometer wavelength, blue light. This is then absorbed by the protein PYP. Suggestions have been made that stalk formations, as well as the release of spores, are repressed by the deficiency of sunlight underground. Growth and release of such components are only beneficial at the surface of the soil. If the organism is underground, these responses would not take place, as it would be an unnecessary strain on its resources. Light reactions are a survival mechanism, so that vital nutrients are not wasted. However, the formation of the stalk is not light dependent and only photosensing. This website also has a reference page which includes all of the sources of our information. It also contains a glossary of terms for any words that you may not understand throughout the website. Thank you for visiting our website about fruiting mixobacteria.